Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Well, we had uh, a tale of uh, two different days uh, soaked into one today with a little bit of drizzle uh, around noon today before this dry line went through, and now it's caused some showers out here in the northwestern Gulf. Here's the real front, though, from Austin to San Antonio that will come in here about 10 o'clock tonight, and that's really going to change things. I know a lot of our producers came in today, and it was gloomy outside, but the sun came out and was beautiful this afternoon. As you can see on our almanac, this says 80, but since this was recorded, it's actually actually gone up to 82 on our high for today and uh, not near the record but close and well above the normal of 75 and it was 68 last night no rainfall officially although we did have some drizzle beautiful picture from Whataburger Field looking at the Harbor Bridge there and 78 degrees and calm outside so that wasn't a real front it was just a dry line that came in uh, this afternoon uh, about two o'clock and uh, temperatures are still 82 in George West 75 in Orange Grove they're starting to cool down but unusually warm for uh, a November night. Current winds are calm here at 11 miles an hour in Orange Grove, 9 out in Freer, so a little bit of wind, but not too much. And the uh, wind forecast has it really picking up about 10 o'clock tonight all the way through the overnight hours. We'll see uh, winds sustained at about 15 to 25 and gusty. And uh, then the winds start to relax uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening. And that's when we start to see a significant drop in our temperature into Wednesday morning. Well, we'll be down in the 40s for lows, some uh, 40 plus degrees lower than it was today. And then by Wednesday at 5 o'clock, nice outside in spite of some clouds and uh, winds under 5 miles an hour. Here are the peak wind gusts. It'll be over 30 miles an hour, 10 o'clock tonight, when that front barrels through here. And then uh, staying in the 30s all night long, starting to drop off at 8 in the morning, but really dropping off uh, slowly but surely here tomorrow afternoon. The dew point, the measure of moisture in the air, is going to get less and less with the dry air coming in. We'll go from the 60s to 50 in the morning and then drop on into the 40s tomorrow afternoon, low 40s, but even some 30s here by Wednesday morning. So it's really going to get dry and uh, definitely chilly outside as this low kicks out. Low too far north, it needs to be down here to give us any big rain like we had uh, last week and uh, last weekend. But that low is going to kick out. And uh, then we still have this southwesterly flow uh, out here on Thursday to make for a cool day. And then a more southwesterly flow will bring another system in here late Sunday into Monday of next week. And that's when we'll have another cold front and another shot at rain with that southwesterly flow. That's caused by El Nino. So take a look at this. This is actually showing uh, rain here perhaps on Thanksgiving. Anything we have I think will be over with by 7 in the morning. And then the rain starts to pick up again here on Sunday, and I think by Sunday night it's really going to be uh, pretty wet here. Dog walking this evening looks like this. We'll see temperatures dropping off through the 60s between now and midnight, and a light northwest wind, and 50s rule the region except 60 at the Naval Air Station will be at 57, and the high temperatures tomorrow only in the 60s after 80s over most of the area today. And here is your seven-day forecast. 57 tonight, 66, much cooler tomorrow. 65 here on Wednesday, a few little light showers uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but I think overall late day sun on Thanksgiving and 64, warmer Friday and Saturday, uh, putting the Christmas lights up on Saturday, a good day for that, and likely rain here Sunday night and Monday with a bigger front that'll take us into the 30s, Andy, for next week.